to go, no, I don't want my fucking bag, actually. I don't, I don't want my fucking bag. And then I'll get out of the airport and I'll be like, oh, I want my bag. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Everyone put crowns in the chat for our queenie. I'm going to make you famous. I'm going to make you famous. You don't even know. I want to know the backstory. Do you know how... What's the backstory? Oh, this is so weird, this. This is Orton Towers in 1966. Orton Towers was once the home of the 15th Earl of Shrewsbury, who built a great rambling mansion of turrets and towers and hired armies of gardeners to landscape the surrounds early in the last century. But no one lives here now, and it's one of the North Midlands' most popular and beautiful playgrounds. Sorry, right, who's, who, listen, if no one's living there, who is paying the gardener to keep the bushes like that? Who? Leisure and space in true stately home style, but with excitement too, in funfair fashion. I was destined to be living in a manor house, I'm not going to lie. Listen, this is my Delulu now. It's because I watched Saltburn last night, and what was it? I think I was just destined to be in the aristocratic um, circles, you know? I used to sleep with the heir of the Morrison's dynasty in Harrogate, thank you very much. And then I was blacklisted from the social circle. It was the Prosecco and the kebabs that put them off, I think. Yeah? Mm, I'm destined to live in a manor house, I tell thee. <laughs> So much space, acres and acres of it. So if you want to leave the fairground's gaiety to others, it's time to find the quiet corners amongst the cedars and sequoia trees, the lakes and rhododendron. Suppositories. You can get to Orton Towers for a suppository. No, I want a manor house. I want a manor house. I want a room that's dedicated to my wardrobe. I will drink bath water. I didn't even think that scene was too bad. Like, everyone was like, uh, uh, I didn't think it was that bad. If I thought someone was fit enough, I'd drink their bath water. Jesus Christ. Do you know what the fruitcakes get up to? Absolutely. We love the bunda. We eat the bunda. <laughs> What's the bit of bath water? Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> if it was Tom Hardy's bath water, I'd get a fucking straw, mate. You know, that's what I used to say to my boyfriend. He'd moan about, oh, that's disgusting. I would be like, and your tongue was where? And you want to say that's disgusting. Shut up. And the most dramatic idea of all, an overhead cable railway. That Everyone is goes swimming in swimming pools and people piss in the swimming pools. Aerial view of the spacious park. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, I thought, yeah, no, the vampire scene was worse in the garden when she was on her monthlies. That was fucking vulgar, that. Bath water over periods any day. Could be worse. It could be worse. Would you rather drink bath water or smell Alphabus balanitis? Mm, yeah. Put that food for thought. Penny for your thoughts. Right, this is doing my head in. Oh, Ali, thank you, darling. I want to be this lady. Each one of those Turkish men are circling her, thinking, yeah, she'll die soon. Money. Like sharks, isn't they? <laughs> They're like, oh. 
We love you, sister. Let him touch his Adenite Harrington. I love her. A little party shoes. Love a little party shoes. Little party boot. Bayside Mall incident. This statement pertains. Right, listen, we need to talk about. We need to talk about the Bayside Miami Mall. I have been there. It was ooky spooky. I spoke to people that worked there, and they even the guy that I remember, the guy that I spoke to outside. I went in there to go and film in there, and I got fucking turfed out really quickly. And then um, a guy was on his break, and I was talking to him about the Miami Mall incident. He was like, "Normally, we're not allowed to talk about it." It was like, "Can I film it?" It was like, "Absolutely not." He was like, um, our phones literally went blank. His girlfriend worked in another shop. He couldn't get hold of her. Like, people, what was it? Mm. Like, he was just cut off. And he said something weird. He was like, there was like sounds of a He was fucked. But the White House, matter. the White House just threatened the media for reporting on the Bayside Mall. And there was no news about it in Miami either. We spoke, me and Nicole spoke to the taxi drivers about it. And they said, nah, there was nothing on the news about it. We all saw it on social media. Like, what the fuck? Like, the n local news channels wouldn't even touch it. Mm. Involving an individual known as Fitz, who is currently in possession of footage classified at the highest federal levels. Due to the critical nature of this material, no further details will be disclosed at this time. We will not entertain any questions regarding the Bayside incident in Miami on January 1st, nor will we address any inquiries about the individual known as Fitz. Both the footage and the incident are part of an ongoing investigation under strict federal oversight. Be advised, any attempt to release or disseminate this Your footage heart means advice. Yes, a hundred more shares. Result in and then I'll drop a treasure box. legal action, including arrest and prosecution. The release of this classified material will be considered a direct violation of federal law. In this so basically, if they... Oh, we've got... Yeah, I've got Washington coming up as well, actually. Um, so basically, if they show the video, they're fucked. They're, they're all a bit ooky spooky, the lot of them, aren't they? Mm. Big up, Ginger Jazz. Thank you, your legends. How are we doing on the old popular... Three, let's get to number one treasure box for you all. Remember, guys, if you can't give, please don't. I always drop treasure boxes. Other people do as well. Same with the subs. There's something in here for everyone. We ignore any outside noise. Yes, we do. I'm here for you, not no one else. We strongly urge all media outlets to refrain from any attempt to publicize this footage or related information. Further updates will be provided only when deemed appropriate by federal authorities. So basically, the Bayside Mall incident, if no one's caught up the with it. The sister of a murdered schoolgirl. Oh. So basically, the, thank you, Chancey, you legends. <laughs> the Bayside Mall incident is basically, yeah, it was about the aliens. So everyone was at Bayside Mall and then everybody kept like, base, there was figures, dark figures appearing and like all the electricity went out and everyone was like going nuts and no one had footage and... Or oh, there was like a the whole precinct of Miami from all over Miami turned up and then there was like videos leaked and stuff and it's all been wiped from the internet. It's all a bit sketchy. Fallen Angels it is. The Rapture is here. Sister of murdered schoolgirl in love with killer's brother and they have two kids. Hmm. Fallen in love with her killer's brother, and they now have two kids together, we can report today. Jessica Aylward was just 13 when her older sister, Rebecca, 15, was lured to the woods and beaten to death with a rock by her ex-boyfriend, Joshua Davies. The monster, aged 16 at the time, murdered her after making a sick bet with his friends that he would kill in exchange for a cooked breakfast. More than a decade on, we can reveal Jessica has found love with Morrison's brekkie, absolutely, our massacre. ...brother, Jordan, sparking a huge family rift. The couple, who have two children, have been dating for at least six years and shared pictures online together celebrating their unlikely love. 
Jessica, now 27, told the son, I am with Jordan, who is Josh's brother, and we have a family together. I don't have any contact with my mother. Gimple when they reproduce. You don't think of the gene pool like it skips a generation. I ain't having kids for this very reason because they will be fucking bastards. I will empathise with my parents and probably yeet mine in foster care at 10 years old. It'll be driving me nuts. You know what I mean? Does no one think of the gene pool? Like some people look at their baby fathers and think, like I say this to my girl mates as well. Luckily, my godson, Ronnie, he is a pillar of the community and is a lovely lad and we have raised him well. Yes, we have. But other, other, some of my friends' kids are literally feral and they moan about their kids. And I'm like, have you seen the baby daddy? Do you know what I mean? One of my friends' kids is exactly like his baby dad. I can't stand him. He's horrible. He's spiteful. He didn't Jessica commit the crime. Online that Geordie had given her two beautiful babies. What do you mean he didn't commit the crime? In return, Steph, Jordan, yes, road to number one. To Jessica on Valentine's Day, calling her the love of my life and the mother of our beautiful children. Jordan's brother Joshua, who was then 16, murdered ex-girlfriend Rebecca in 2010. Now 30. And oh, increased. yeah, it was his brother. I know that. Rebecca to the woods near Bridgend in South Wales. I, I, could per I couldn't personally sit around a table at Christmas times and that with a family of someone that took my brother or sister. Do you know what I mean? I mean, I don't really have any emotional connection to my brother or sister, so but if I did, I wouldn't. Do you know what I mean? Where he bashed her skull in with a rugby ball-sized rock. Her body was found... Oh, Jesus, well, I think we know where this is going. But yeah, no, I couldn't. People are too quick nowadays to call themselves family members when they have nothing to do with you, by the way. You know? British billionaire Bob Bull has been forced to sell his assets after he was bankrupted by a drug cartel. Last year, Bob was worth over £2 billion and was 88th on the UK's rich list. Now he is £725 million in debt as his supercars and homes are being repossessed. Bob Bull blames notorious Kinahan cartel who have links to South America. Bull was... Imagine. Imagine being a billionaire. Imagine, and then you owe all your dollars to the cartel. The dollars. Tired of him raging. Tamping him in raging, so I would. The he dollars. To borrow from the cartel when Crazy a deal to refinance yes, a business with the heart collapsed. Means, thank you, everyone. That money which was borrowed was to be paid back within four weeks with an interest of £3 million a month. But this ended up spiraling out of control and resulted in the businessman being told to pay back forty-two million pounds. The cartel began. I would tell them to get to fuck. I would move. I would go to another country. Tell them to get to fuck. You know, Julie. Thank you, Julie. I'd tell him. Yep. Stop. I'm off to the Maldives. Do you know what I mean? And demanding their money back using kidnapping threats to scare him. His wife, Sarah, was knocked unconscious before the keys to her £450,000... I just want to say, I'm not really going to the Maldives and I haven't really spent 12 and a half grand on the holiday to the Maldives. I was just saying it to wind their chat up. And it worked. Are you for real? He spent £12,000 on the Maldives and there's me struggling. Listen, you only struggle if you make yourself struggle. I've been there, done that. Rolls Royce was stolen. I can't the lie. I, this is what I mean when people call. I can't lie. Even my best friend, she says to me, "You're a shit liar." I cannot lie. I wish I could, and I can't. I can't. Honestly, I just, I, I just can't. I'm the worst. Reported to the police, which concluded that Bull had been a victim of a conspiracy to defraud him to destroy his four billion pound caravan bungalow and holiday parks business. Why do people like these thinking they can just low key scam? But why do they think they in it? Imagine scamming the cartel, like oh, oh, let it be. You're gonna have a little package arrive in the next couple of days, my darling, and a little something extra. Right, so we've got some nice wholesome content from Mr. Michael Barrymore. I love this man so much. Wait.
Oh, I love him so much. Right, let's get spicy. Virginia says everyone hates you because you're such a s Why is that my bundle so no one cares? You didn't hear it from me. Oh, this yes, she did. Why we find out what's been going down on the app. Yes, we do. Uh oh, I, I, I don't want you to die, so we can lose some weight and stuff. Yes, Karina, have a salad. No more mental torture on me for doing a live stream right now and getting a few. You know what, right, I'm going to say about Prince Brat and you lot are just going to... I've been watching him and I've been watching from afar and I think, do you know what? Go on, lads. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's just keeping himself to himself and doing his thing, and he? He's not really causing it. He got caught up in the wrong circle, as most people do. Been there, done that, worn a T-shirt. But, um, yeah, and I just think, do you know what? Hop off. You do you. You be happy in your little bubble, you know? Be happy in your little bubble. We love Prince Brad. Yes. Oh. I'm, a, I'm a tough cookie to crack, though. It's taken me months, isn't it? I'm very savage when it comes to stuff like that. Like, I'm one of those people, yeah, if I don't like someone or something irks me about someone, I can't be around them. This is the trouble I have on the app as well when I have to socialise with other creators. I don't care for it. Like, I do the odd one, but I just, knowing what I know from behind the scenes and how people work and, you know, just, I just, I'm not a fan of it. It's all, you know, you can earn your money, but the things that people do for the money, it really, it really um, irks me, you know. And I focus on my chat a lot, and a lot of people don't. It's all just very, I can't fake it. I can't. You know, I haven't been around a lot of creators and just how, you know, I'm, I'm very much like one of those. Thank you for the boo. Thank you, Chancey. I'm very much one of those people. Like if I don't have to be around anyone or I don't like their energy, I won't be around them, you know, but I won't pretend to be friends with them for the sake of joining teams and getting a few gifts that like, I'll quite happily earn what I earn and just I could I could milk it. And I can't I haven't got the energy to fake it. I can't do it. Fake it to make it. I'll make it without faking it. Morning, Zara. My best is here. Oh, we love you. Am I seeing you later? Um, do you know what I mean? And I, I, I can't do it. I can't. I genuinely can't. Like, things annoy me. You know, things annoy me. And I think people are so happy settling for the basic, you know, the basic. Like, someone will post it. Oh, they're so funny. And I'm watching it. And I'm like... Is it? Is it that funny? You know? Like... I'm turning into a bitch in my old age. <laughs> I really am. I really, really am. Like, oh, God, I can't be fucked. Right, anyway, moving forward. <laughs> Cheyenne is upset after finding out Mephed. Mephed? Mephed? <laughs> Metap. Why is it Metap has been arrested abroad? So Metap, or whatever her name is, the lesbian, the odd lesbian, she's been out in Turkey, right? And she's been arrested for smugs. She's been arrested for smugs. Yes, she has. With some Turkish people in the car, they found drugs in the car and she got arrested. So Mehmed's going to be banged up in a Turkish prison. Yeah! <sighs> She could get 12 years, I know. She's going to be chilling with the lesbian Turks. I know. Do this stuff. Was Cheyenne, was Cheyenne Buyakar in Mefed? Was she Buyakar in her? Because she was half lesbian for a bit, wasn't she? Was she a bit of a lesbian? Oh, yeah. Hey, take a picture and post it. This life's not good. It's just stressful. And I was going through a bad time in life, and she really put me on the right track. Every time Cheyenne sees me in Watford, she walks in. <laughs>
I saw her in the shopping centre once with Vic D. And who was she with? No, she wasn't with Chris. It was that other one. Was it Aggie? I can't keep up. Anyway, so we, I was coming out of H&M and she was coming out the doors at Watford Shopping Centre. And she went, yeah, Johnny, that's it. The one. No, I don't, it's, he had like plaques in his hair and that. White lad. But yeah, and she saw me and then I was like, I looked at her and she looked at me and she screamed and ran the other way. <laughs> and Vic D was like, what the fuck? Was, yeah, I think it was Aggie. And Vic D was like, what the fuck was that about? I was like, I don't know. It was just as the show was popping off. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I think it was just... <laughs> and I'll always be thankful for her to friend. You know yeah. when someone's just there for you like all the time? Like yeah, we might have our arguments and that. <laughs> but you know when someone's like your hero and they help you and they're comfort and you can speak to them about anything. <laughs> if I have problems and shit, or if I had anything to say, I'd message her and I'd ring her saying this, that. <laughs> hey, why is she talking about it like she's died? She's just been bagged up in a Turkish prison. Do you know what I mean? And from when you're with someone like a whole month, I oh know I've been like here, I've been around my, I've been in for a while. Show with the it's like snapping out of it and it's Thank just you, like, darling. I know someone's not right, but it just feels like something's lost. I know you're going to see this, babe, as soon as. Right, those taps are slacking, you hooligans. Where's the tappy tappies gone? Listen, keep a tapping, keep a sharing. It's ain't 10 a.m. Hmm. As soon as I know what's going on, then yeah, I'm literally I'm gonna get my flight. I swear to God, I will. Like, sorry. She was there for me in my hardest times and shit when I had no one. What are you gonna go do? Go to Turkey and be like, I wanted that. I don't think Turkish prisons work like that, hon. This ain't like wearing with scrubs, babe. This ain't like wearing with scrubs. When I was going through something, she basically saved me, so how can I not be there for her? To get it. Right. R.I.P. Method. Elphaba has got a life-sized cardboard cut out of a green witch. See you later, Mary Love. I mean, let's just see. Let's see. 300 pounds. Okay, it's so big. It's so giant. Oh my god. Oh, it's the Wicked Witch, the OG okay. Wicked Witch. This is my head. This is how big it is. Okay. Thank you for the spooks. Three hundred pounds for. Okay, I put it off. Okay. And I guess you just. Ow. Oh. It's a bit of a yeah, hole in it. <laughs> okay, this is a life size, really. Look, look, right, can we just watch the teeth filter on her teeth? Watch the teeth filter on her teeth. Glitchy, glitchy. Look, look, the whiteness. Wow. I'm taller. That's interesting. So this is a life-sized. Check the camera. Okay. This is a life-sized. Isn't it so random, but it's so cool. I don't drink Evian. I drink Scottish water. I'm not Scottish. Scotland. 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 Fuck it, I don't care what anyone says. I love her so much. She is in such a hilarious era at the moment. Oh, yes. Boyaka. Boyaka. Tim Morgan's.
Yes! Fuck with the tin. Uh, uh, Thank you, John C. Uh, 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 it's happy to drink, but it was, uh, Fuck, imagine how many babies that weigh this heavy. Oh, fuck, it's definitely have to get fun. Love us. <laughs> Thank you, darling. Right, so Elphaba's latest victim, and I use the term loosely because let me tell you now, oh, I can't be fucked, right? Just, I. Uh, oh. So I've been going through his page. Yeah, I've been going through his page. Jacqueline, thank you, love. Thank you, Chloe. Let me change the target. What have we got? Should we do some Halloween-y ones? Right, let me get rid of those ghosts. What have we got? Right, I'll do a brat apple target. No, but do you know what? We'll do the chocolate crepe targets. Right. Complete the target before the end of the show. Go, go, go. Let me drop you a treasure box as well. Remember, guys, if you can't gift, please don't. It's not compulsory. Oh. There you go for your daily heart mate that's got a lap poppy one by one. Yes, with the crepes. Get those crepes. Right, so this alphabet fucking... Oh, just listen. So a lot of people have been asking me about what my experience was and what made me so uncomfortable with alphabet. So I'm going to tell you in this one. So basically, you may have seen the video of her dancing, like, on me and making, and like, you know, making suggestive things towards me. Um, you may have seen it on, um, All Seeing Eyes, uh, TikTok, um, and basically, she was doing that sort of stuff all night to me, that was just one of the times where I caught it on camera, um, she was constantly making comments. I it's got time to get his camera out and film it rather than sit there and say, listen mate, leave me the fuck alone, do you know what I mean? Fucking knob. It's been like, if I had all the lady parts... I would totally date you. I'd totally be with you. Um, there was a time, there was, uh, I think one point we were sat in the booth next to each other and she started like stroking my hair and being like, your hair is so fluffy and so soft. I mean, it's got fucking wax in it now, but when it's washed. <laughs> when it's washed, it's quite fluffy. And stuff, it's really soft. <laughs> um, and... She, like, I, I wasn't okay with her doing that, but in my mind, I was like, if I'm like, if I start saying, can you please not do that? Up then, Gail, because you're the only one that can't hear it, love. That, she might, they, they might just kick me or kick me out of the group and... I didn't say anything because they might just kick me out of the group. Make me not make me practically be on my own for the rest of the night. I didn't want to be on my own for the rest of the night. Um, Cause some of my, I've learned, I've learned, at that point I'd learned from some of my other night outs where <clears throat> I went out on my own. Uh, I, do you know, I was just going to sit there and get essayed cause I didn't want to be out on my own for the night and get my phone stolen. The, my phone ends up getting snatched. <laughs> So I didn't want to be on my own for the uh, for that night out. So I just kind of rolled with it. But she was like playing with my hair and well, stuff. Well, he needs she... to tell us that then. He needs to tell us that then. If if that is the case, if he has got it, it needs to be a little bit more. He was doing some fucking dirty dance moves, sort of looking at me suggestively. Um, and yeah, she was like obviously pressuring me into buying her a drink. And she was... Like constant, consistent. On in Melbourne, saying, oh, right? And then this one, it's that is disgusting. Firstly, you're not fucking attractive whatsoever. <laughs> Why are you saying I'm not attractive? 
Do you know what I mean? And then he posts his, his new single. Thought I'd give you a little teaser for my album next month during all this drama. What the fuck? I don't have an opinion on music because the last time I fucking had an opinion on someone's music, they had a nervous fucking breakdown and caused me all sorts of fucking aggro. So I ain't saying nothing. Mm -hmm. Right, Talia says EQ still fancies Rickster and she's broken hearted. <laughs> Let's just roll the clip. I to save you guys a few quid because you are gifting some real demonic things. She still has feelings for Ricky. I think she's so jealous. She absolutely, let me tell you this now, EQ still fancies my boyfriend. She's absolutely broken hearted. She thought by them two teaming up and making out there together, she thought he would eventually fall in love with her. When she realized he wasn't feeling that way, she started to record the fake phone calls and record the fake. So she thought, if I can't have you, I'm gonna screw you up on TikTok because this has to benefit me somehow. And if you're not gonna be my fella, then you're gonna be my money-making opportunity. <laughs> Oh, man, and if you try and fuck her over, she's going to fucking fuck you over tenfold, mate. This is what EQ does, and she does it very well. And that's exactly what she did, and I've seen the texts to prove it. I've seen everything. He's even taken a lie detector. I've seen his bank statements. There ain't no 20 grand anywhere. I've seen him send her loads of money. I've seen her send him a couple of calls. But I think, you know, this is such a demonic app. And like I see it say, Jesus never came for peace. When he came to earth, he never came to... Jesus came to fuck up. Yes, he did. He said, you bitches, get in line. I am here now. Forever hold your peace. Create peace. He came to divide. And it's about time... Did Jesus come to divide? Did he come to divide? I thought the devil divided. Lucifer. That some... No, the other Lucifer, not the warbling Lucifer. For the other, the actual demon of music, not the one that sounds like a demon making music. Two different Lucifers. Somebody, somebody started shining a light on people that are abusing money financially, emotionally, physically. Um, that's just how it is. And I really think that people should just start to, and thank God people are starting to realise now that maybe Ricky was telling the truth all along. What's gone on? But yeah, she was lovely. Rick's still talking about EQ. He says EQ Minx is up. Hey, leave my EQ Minx alone. I like my EQ Minx. He says we all know isn't honest and he wants Jack to add him. Who's, who is she on about? Who was lovely? Yeah, the council, the MPs, the papers. That's where Nick Isn't Jacobs and EQ Minx in the chat. She remembers all this. None of this is loud. Or EQ Minx is another one. I've never known anybody to be so far up somebody's backside in all my life. See, back in the day when I was speaking to EQ, the EBQ mix was so deep up EQ's backside, I swear to God. I didn't know whether it was her head or Chelsea's backside. Eyes or exaggeration or bullshit, you know what I mean? You've seen how people are when it comes to me, you know what I mean? Like, they'll do everything. Do you want my honest opinion? Do you want my honest opinion? This is, this, I, I refuse to believe that EQ and Jack are broken up. I don't believe it. I don't, I don't believe it. She's said it for a reason to see what's, what's what. Yeah, I don't think they have. Jack's a good egg as well. You know, I don't believe it. I think she's up to something and all will be revealed. All will be revealed. 
everything in the power to stop me doing certain things, you know what I mean? Look how much people bite at oh, it. beating up your boyfriend. But <laughs> there's no proof that she has <laughs> Do you know what West I mean? West Sussex it was, that's where I ended. Like, if my boyfriend came alive and he had a black eye, the first thing people go, Ow! TV! Ow! TV! It's just like, shit happens, do you know what I mean? I'd love to knock him out, but I wouldn't. Who don't want to knock their partner out? Do you know what I mean? When they piss them off. But I just think it's just such like, this is why I don't take the app as serious anymore because people chat the biggest amount of fucking waffle. I've scammed thousands from charities, apparently. What else have I done? Um, Just all sorts. And I, but I've, I've relapsed about 20 times. You know, I manipulate you lot. Do you know what I'm saying? And people just come to the fucking most pointless. It's these people in, in the box community and more than Mr. Stark in the box community and stuff. You know, I have an opinion on people. I get called a bully, right? But it's all right for, you know, your misreads and everyone else's to hold boxes and let people have their say, which I think is a load of bollocks. It's just a per perfect opportunity to tear people apart. You know, I stand alone. EQ stands alone. But people talk the most amount of shit about us. Seagull Sam, thank you. Do you know what I mean? But because, but because we don't agree with the masses and we're not people pleasers, and this isn't shade at anyone, but it's true, because we're not people pleasers and we don't... Hello, Rossi. And we don't watch what the crowd are saying. So everyone hates Marcus M. Everyone hates Delulu Angie. Everyone hates this person. It's all right for those guys to have an opinion on those creators. But if we, if I've been directly affected by a creator and I stick up for myself, I'm the bully. So I don't listen to no negative comments. I don't listen to all that bullshit because their opinions are invalid. Because you're not falling out with someone that's trending as such, and everyone's jumping on the bandwagon, do you know what I'm saying? Then you're a terrible person. Like, you can't people play. Unknown, hello. You, like, make it make sense. If you're going to say I'm a... But, well, what about this? But because you're... Because they think their judgment on Marcus Ems is 100% definitely correct, because it's so public, you know? But if I have a problem, i.e. with that singer or someone else, then I'm a bully and their mental health and this, and it swings and roundabouts. It's all the same. Do you know what I'm saying? Did I cry about any hate that I got through my bullshit? No, I didn't. Do you know what I'm saying? I just fucking dusted my big boy pants off and got on with it. But people are so quick to play the victim for financial reasons. This is it. So, but people will gladly sit in Miss Red's boxes and tear chunks out of other creators. They'll sit in Delusive Angie's and tear chunks out of other creators. They'll sit in fucking Cam 2 crews and fucking have their little negative opinions in the chat. It's all the fucking same. It's all the fucking same. Idiots. Ended up living on a, fan, a fan's sofa. And Hello. Hi, everyone. So, and also, the reason why I was off yesterday is because... These people just watch and moan. Do you know what I mean? These people don't even fucking drop a heart, mate. They just love to be there and fucking... So I don't care. I don't care. And I sat there and was like, why am I getting rid of the nit -nit news? Why am I not allowed to have an opinion and everyone else is? Why am I not allowed to react to someone who's affected me directly with their behaviour and my treatment of me? Why am I not allowed to react? Well, because I'm a man. Is it because I'm a man? Shut up. Sorry. So I don't remember too much because it was Manchester, so I met. I couldn't stop you all out of a fucking grass. Yeah, well, you're all homophobic, so I've put that in your pipe and smoke it, yeah? On business for this one. Yeah, I stand on business. I stand by. You haven't stood on business, you batch of Right, what's next? To the person who said that I look like the slug out of Monster Inc. I'm not impressed. Sorry. Um, it's meant to be in there. <laughs> Saved on my main. And <laughs> exposed. Exposed.
I'd say that's in my favourites on my mind. There's a whole lot of sinful ones in my favourites. Yes, there is. God, falling out of the wheelchairs is my favourite one. That's just the Luna Tunas. To the person who said that I look like the slug out of Monster Inc. I'm not impressed. So, um, we were doing Daz. Elphaba's crush dares him to put on a credit, a, a, a credit, a credit, a venable. <laughs> Oh, God, I've definitely got bipolar or something. Because, listen, yesterday was, uh, I was an emotional wreck, and today I'm having the time of my life. I can't cope. I need fucking meds. He dared me, and I, this is how I knew he was into me. He dared me to run across the house naked. And I... No, that is a sociopath. Girl, you've got Jeffrey Dahmer in your house. Because let me tell you, ain't nobody else asking you to run around naked apart from fucking some psychopath, let me tell you now. Not with that balanitis in your hoop. I was like, why would you say that as a dad? Why would you say that as a dad? Thank you, then. So I, I didn't. I didn't. Because I'm class. Yes, so... Classy, was... you're about as classy as a bottle of Lambrini, you wench. Fucking classy. Like, I know, I know, I know. I'm generally, because I was, like, attracted to him. I was like, oh, my God, Slay Queen, Hunter Boots Mama. Not the, not the, um, not the crust of Balanitis falling out and going onto the floor as she's running across it. Is that, is that cat? No, it's Balanitis. You dropped your cat. No, it's me Balanitis, it fella. Oh, no! Stop it! You're disgusting. All of you are foul. We're foul. You're vulgar. But then, I was like, is he giving me signs or is he taking the piss? Anyway, so... Another dare was... Um, Hold on, Nikki, are you going to send me that person with the carrier bags? That's literally what I was thinking in my head. The <laughs> mod chat was just popping off. Have you seen that meme? Hold on, I can't. Let me try and turn this around. One second. Let me try and get you there. I'll do this properly. Right, you know that. You know that meme where they've got the um, carrier bags. This is how I imagine I run. Do you... No. Do you know what I'm on about where they're dipping over the beach? Oh, don't, because I'm going to piss. I'm going to piss. Yes, that's, that's, that's fucking Balanitis Barry. Oh, stop, Balanitis. Shall I launch some Balanitis merch, shall I? One second. It's much coming, honey pies, cherry drink. Cheese bell emojis in the chat. Jody Lewis, <laughs> thank you. Wait there, because it's just going to check into Balanitis. Wait. A... Wait there. Jesus, that was a bit loud, wasn't it? Right, let's listen to this story. Mm. Put on the venom suit. Thank you for the heart, mates, guys. Get your trendy Wendy's in, right. yes? As a dad, okay? Mark pin number, number one. Later on, not to do with, we him, want. To do with someone else. To do with my friend, because I thought things were 
I thought, you know what I mean? Things were just interesting. That was just a lot of story, but it's all good. It's all good. I'm not mentioning any names because I protect my friends and stuff like that. So we're, me and her are good hey, now. Lies and anyway, lies. next day, the next day. Lies so, he goes, lies. so he goes back to, um, hers. Join, who the fuck is that? Can someone explain to me who that is? Who? Sky TV, what's happening? What? I'm not joining Sky TV, darling. I can't afford it. I can't be asked. I can't afford it, but can spend 300 quid on a fucking cutout. Do you know what I mean? Can spend 300 quid on a cutout. Rishi Sunak can't afford it. Well, he can. But... <laughs> Up, Lorna. Thank you, Lorna. He's got, I don't know who Sky is. It's Sky TV. Okay, well, uh, I didn't know everyone loves Sky TV that much, but uh, is it a good network? Oh, that's interesting. Well, I didn't know all the hype, but I mean. <clears throat> anyway. Anyway. Do you, want, do you want to continue the tea or not? I'll shut, I'll shut up. I'll stop then. 99 thank you, everyone. The tea isn't even sizzled yet. He isn't sizzled. I wish he'd yeah, sizzled. Well, I'm not going to Where's the venom suit? Sound like that, girl. If you want the drop. Ricky, hello, my love. Uh, Ricky's in here. Give good to people. So today, I want to help some. Alphabet says she wants to help people who can't afford food, then eats the takeaway in front of said people. Some people, if that's okay. Big up Naomi, so big up Juju. Night, I want to help some people who are struggling with food and um, um, and any mothers out there that need help as well. I'll bring you in my box. Um, <coughs> <later tonight. coughs> I'll try my best to help. Um, but I don't want kindness taken advantage of because I don't want people to... Let me do some more coins for you, look, guys. I'm here, to help, I'm here to help anyone that is struggling because I've struggled before. So, um, get your coin to help me. Isn't trendy Wendy's? You know, if you need like money for food or things like that, um, you know, I'm I'm here to help you if you need anything because I help my people out. And that is banging. Look at that. It's yes. <laughs> bag bowl. Let's taste this. That is so. If I went to Barbican and knocked it out, would it be justified? Morning, Panda Love. Put me back on the map a bit, do you know what I mean? And gain some respect back. Should I just go home? Shall I? Should I do it? Yes? Oh, Jesus. Yes. Yes. Would I become like the nation's princess? I need to do like my, redem my redemption era. I need to do my redemption era. So I thought, what can I do to make it up to everyone? Knock Elf. I mean, listen, what she be saying about me? Oh, I'd film it, 100%. SD, we're off to Barbican today. Get in the car, we got a Barbican. Get in the car, we're going to Barbican. I will be the people's princess back on my throne. That would be good, holy shit. Mm. Up TikTok drama, thank you. Raggy Lou. Oh, I'm so happy I ordered it. Thank this. you guys for the gifts, I love you. Thank you. Okay, now I've got my food right. So, I'm eating um, lasagna. It's far too much, right? Gemma, no, thank you for the speak. The Grammy, that's my Grammy award. And this is absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous. Mm. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Thank you, TikTok drama. Thank you, Arabella. It is so filling and so good. Mmm.
breaking news. A wild alphabet has been spotted spreading balanitis around London and the United Kingdom. <laughs> this is the news from around the world and where you are. I need to stop eating on live. I don't normally eat on live, but some of the screen recorders, I was eating a satsuma the other day having a rant, and I don't even think that I'm being screen recorded. And then I'm like, and it's, oh God, it makes me cringe. It makes me die. Because everyone's like, ah, oh, why is he? Here? I'm, like, I don't, I'm in it for me live, in it. I'm in. I'm like, I don't want to expect it to be on the FYP. Fucking slapping my chops on a Satsuma, right? I don't like this. I don't like the way the world's going. Ukrainian men dragged from bars by army recruiters, right? And this is because they failed to prove why they can't fight in the army. Now, why are we picking up politicians' messes and having to give up our life through their decisions? No. No, it's going, they're starting it in Eastern Europe and it's coming over. Watch, watch. They're testing the waters. Mm. Morning, Leo, you little love. Morning, Mrs. B. It's so bad, but they're, te yeah, they're testing it. And this is, this is my, my view on immigration is that the men come over, leave the women and children at home in their own countries, which is meant to, but they're coming over seeking asylum because it's meant to be safer over here. Then why wouldn't you bring the women and children as well? Hmm? And it ain't to send money back home. It's because they're being recruited by the army because the, our own British troops aren't going to turn on us. They're not going to turn on us. But if it's soldiers from another country, they've got no loyalties. It's happening. It's happening. In the next couple of years, watch, the world's going to change. I've been saying this for the last two years and everyone thought I was nuts. Virginia McCulloch admitted to two counts of murder. Oh, we watched this one yesterday. This terrifying footage from Hurricane Milton shows the moment a this man is crazy. after he's left clinging to an icebox 50 kilometers off the coast of Florida. At least 16 fatalities have been confirmed from the hurricane and more casualties are He's on an icebox. The man who was fortunate to escape with his life was discovered about 30 miles off Longboat Key, Florida yesterday. 30 miles out to sea, that's a lot. That's a lot out to sea, that is. You think Florida? Do you think of the sharks? Bull sharks, great white sharks, jellyfish, swordfish. Under that ocean is a fucking plethora of death. Post guards found him clinging on to an open cooler chest in the sea after he <laughs> fell from a fishing vessel during the height of the hurricane. He had radioed the nearby Coast Guard station. Alligator! in St. Petersburg for assistance while floating on the cooler, but lost contact at around 6.45pm. On Thursday, a helicopter crew found him still adrift on the waves. Rick, I would be quite peaceful, I would. I'd be like... I'd be like no, turtles for not pets you can have! <laughs> we love the Moira Rose! Moira Rose! Alagata! Coast Guard diver swam out to rescue him and he was taken back to shore. Coast Guard official Dan O'Grady said, This man survived a nightmare scenario for even the most experienced mariner. He survived because of a life jacket, his emergency position indicating locator beacon, and a cooler. Do you know what? Some people are just designed to be stranded out to sea, aren't they? A young I woman faces... I wouldn't. You know? I wouldn't. I'm not designed or built. You know? I'm built for the fragrance section in Boots and H&M menswear. I'm not built for being stranded out to sea. No, thank you. Do you know what I mean? No, ladies and gentlemen. No. I'm too pretty to be stranded. <laughs> I'm joking. Loses a bit of weight. Look how arrogant he is. He's changed since his surgery. Someone said they thought I was funnier when I was fat. And I was like, excuse me, what the fuck has 19 fucking stone got to do with my sense of humour? Now you're just judging me because I'm pretty. Now I know how beautiful people feel. I'm joking, I'm taking the piss. I'm taking the piss. I'm taking the piss.
God's sake. I need to stop being so sarcastic, especially when I'm on thin ice, because they grab it and run it. I know, the Bora Bora fucking storyline. They've all started with that, haven't they? I've already seen one video. 12.5k one on a fucking holiday. Listen, I'd have my car first. Six years behind bars in the US after allegedly smuggling 3.5 million pounds worth of cocaine in her suitcase from Mexico. Kim Hall, 28, was caught in the act at Chicago Airport, where she was due to get on her connecting flight what? home to Manchester. Homeland Security investigators detained the beautician after discovering 43 kilograms of cocaine what? packed in two suitcases. However, Kim claims two men Thank forced you, to sheep, smuggle mom. drugs after offering her a free trip to Cancun and then threatening her once she arrived. Her family back home in the UK say the only thing she's guilty of is being stupid and being naive which is what she's guilty of for trafficking drugs no fairy dust thank you darling it is she's guilty of trafficking drugs no her dad john said she had met the men who claimed they were property developers on an earlier holiday in portugal they invited her to stay with them and then offered her a free holiday but allegedly cursed her into taking two suitcases home which she claims they packed she believed the suit so you're telling me you ain't never watched watched banged up abroad as a beautician you haven't spoken over months about seeing a... You know? Saying she thought it was cash, 100%. Like, you're not allowed to take a certain amount of pounds, are you? Like, if you have more than a certain amount, you've got to declare it. The Peru too, yeah? Bridget Jones? Does no one... Does no one... Good. Two cases contain $250,000 in cash. The amount of drugs seized means she could face a sentence between 15 and 60 years in prison. Her family have paid $28,000 for an attorney and are concerned about her well-being and safety. Absolutely not. I'm sorry. If that was my family member, I would be like, are you fucking crazy? Uh, you want me to pay £28,000 for your legal fees? Uh-uh. No? You, you fuck around, you find out, In it? You fuck around, you find out. When I was in Thailand, they wanted me to fucking take diamonds or ruby or whatever, gems. I don't know what it is that they call it. But I was asked so many times on my border runs to Malaysia and stuff like that. Oh, will you take these diamonds and that for us? No, I had taken no diamonds. It's all like jewelry and that out there. I ain't taking no diamonds. I will take one though. Just in case. Nicole, thank you. Oh, dream morning, my love. I'm a gran and my Turkish toy boy is 19, the same age as my daughter. See, let's just see how outraged people are about this, shall we? Because if it was a 60-year-old man with a 19-year-old, I'm sure everyone would have a lot to say. Mm. Grandma from Scotland is dating a 19-year-old man who is the same age as her eldest. A bit weird and a bit noncy, if you ask me. Daughter. Rachel McIntyre met her partner Seskin while she was on holiday in Turkey. The 35 year old had a whirlwind romance with the young man. Despite it being an unconventional relationship, the couple are very much in love. Visa! To the age difference, she initially had reservations about getting romantically involved with Seskin. Rachel told the mirror, After we revealed he was 19, I backed off. He was the same age as my daughter. However, Rachel eventually succumbed to Seskin's charms. Despite my initial resistance, his persistent flirting won me over. We spent all of his free time together and gradually fell in love. Rachel is undeterred by any criticism of her relationship with Seskin. She told And we just avoid dating in Turkey and Greece. And <laughs> we just I was talking to one of my friend's mums yesterday and I was like, she's gonna end up. She literally is gonna end up marrying a Turkish man. She'll be one of those women that are out there on their holidays. And she'll be like, I love him. I love him. I'm like, no! He loves your visa. Told them I'm sure people will say I'm making a fool of myself by falling in love with someone. Yeah, you are no bad. Stand the test of time. A woman has died after going overboard on an 18-deck cruise ship bound for Southampton, sparking a huge search in the middle of the night. Alarms were raised to passengers aboard the MSC Virtuosa at 12.55am on Saturday. The ship slowed down and the crew launched a major search. One passenger said... Sub, thank you, darling. Yes, person. make sure your subs are renewed for the big birthday giveaway next week. Otherwise, you will not be entered or have a chance of winning. And their thoughts and prayers are with the family. A spokesperson from the French Search and Rescue Service said the individual was pulled up... <laughs> She was sadly pronounced dead. The French police are investigating what happened. In a statement, a spokesperson for the cruise line told the Mirror, We are deeply saddened by this tragic event, and our thoughts are with the family during this difficult time. Out of respect for their privacy, we will not be providing any further detail. How'd you fall overboard?
How do you fall overboard? Making no sense. Pushed. Pushed or pissed. I don't want to go on a cruise ever in my life. Couldn't think of anything worse. What's the next one? Oh, this is the Washington. Nikki with the sub. Thank you, darling. So something major must have went down in Washington, D.C. last night because look at this, y'all. Oh, okay, oh, oh shit, um, Laura, right thank now. you, Laura. Noise. Thank you so much for sending the subs, Laura. Thank you, you little legend. Right. Let's watch this again. Something something dodgy is going on in... um. So something major must have went down in Washington, D.C. last night because look at this, y'all. Okay, I do not know what's going on right now. I heard a noise. I come outside. There's sirens blaring. And I see this huge trail in the sky. So it seems like something crashed and landed near Washington, D.C. because people are seeing a huge trail. Good morning, DG. Good morning, love in the sky and after the huge trail they heard a huge boom look at look at but look at the moon y'all y'all see that that shit looking like a sun still now here's the thing this is being reported and seen across a lot of states not just washington but you Thank have you, philadelphia Eric. vermont people in new york virginia was seeing all this as well so this is something big if everybody across those states are saying this I looked at the comments and people were saying this, y'all. So if anybody has seen I anything... I hope it's any aliens. I do. Any aliens, extraterrestrials, please let us know down below because people have been seeing a lot of strange anomalies in the sky lately. And this all took place at midnight and all you hear is sirens in the background, y'all. Alright. Part two of something landing in Washington, D.C., y'all. This guy was there and he saw everything. Check this out. It's early in the morning. On the U.S. Capitol grounds, a man. Let's start the guy in Washington, guys. Security and law enforcement is everywhere. Walk with me. Look at this. What is going on? Tell us. Tell us. So he notices that there's a lot of cop car, but yet it's quiet. Like they're anticipating something. Like something must have happened in order for them to be this quiet. So, and it's quiet. Talia and Rick Stud. In the rapture here. <laughs> As if they're waiting for something, expecting something, preparing for something. Come here, let's walk over here. Come on. And that's what everybody was saying. Once that loud boom went off, people Thank heard sirens, and then people heard helicopters. Let me show y'all what the helicopter was doing, y'all. So this is Flight Tracker. Here's the helicopter over here. Now notice that the planes are grounded, like the planes aren't moving. Granted, you know what I'm saying? But still, look at this helicopter flying around. And then it was circling the crash landing spot. It left the area over there and then went over here. As you can see, it's just circling it, y'all. I just thought it was weird that the helicopter was flying around in circles like that. But yeah, look at all these cops, y'all. They're just standing around, just waiting for something. Let's go, let's go. Let's turn around, look at that again. Man, turn around, look at that. Let them see it. What's going on over here? Oh. Wow, see, look at all that. So anybody doing what's going on, please let us know. We're trying to figure out. I'm waiting for an update. He's waiting for an update. It's fascinating. It always happens in America or whatever other countries. But this because like America's like one of the oldest lands in the whole world. Like it's all underground. All these mountains and these cave systems and these doors. Ooh. Thank you, love. That's what Shannon, thank you, darling. That's why. That's it's Yeah, mate. I need to go to the Appalachian Mountains. I need to do America properly. I need to do America properly. Like, can I take my dogs to America? I don't know, though. Will they cope with the heat? I want to do like a month in the States, but I couldn't leave them for a month. I couldn't leave them for a month. I'd have to take them. I'd want to take them with me. Too hot. Is it too hot? If I went somewhere like... Haitians may eat them. Suzanne sent a sub. Way too hot. Yeah, they were, I couldn't put them in the plane. I'd have to take them on the service dogs. Was that a start? <laughs> <laughs> They're like Spooner. Yeah, no, I wouldn't trust her. I couldn't. Mimi would be shitting herself. She would absolutely shit her pants. So please. Yeah, I know. couldn't in the undercarriage. Something's going on. You 
got to do some research. I got to see if there's some threats, if there's something big going on. Do y'all remember the audio of the government whistleblower talking about the Sumerian gods returning? Check this out. Uh, I've heard uh, from people in the Pentagon that the buzzword in the, in the secret of secrets in the Pentagon is uh, the Sumerian gods are returning. And that's what they're referring to, is that whole area uh, uh, that, that Peter's Wow. Talking. Can you repeat that again? So if the Sumerian gods are returning, how do we befriend them? How do we, how do we befriend the Sumerian gods? Like, all oh right, I'm spiritual. Ooh, sage. Look, I got one of these, Mr. Godman. Amethyst. Listen, I am good. Like, imagine if I take you to another planet and, like, you wake up and you're all fucking in, like, Sumerian land. You give them land. What would I give them? I'd give them Renaissance. I'd give them the AirPods and play Renaissance. They'll be blown away. Yeah, and just in case anybody missed it, the well, word uh, in... in the Pentagon, in the, you know, the military circles that are in the know about the cover-up here. Um... Believe in all of this. I believe in it. I believe in it. I'm not going to lie. I believe in it because I've been watching my space stuff and my moons and all of that. I'm, I'm such a geek. I'm actually a geek, to be honest. Like, I watch it all. And I just think there's something, there's something, if, like, if you really deep dive into history, right, <clears throat> and you look at how much has been rewritten, religion, everything, like, I look into it and I'm just like, there's something, like, where does it start? And it all started with the fucking pyramids, and I'm fascinated by the Sphinx as well. The, they kind of, in whisper tones, talk about the return of the Sumerian gods. So yes, y'all, if anybody knows what's going on in DC, please let us know. And if I get an update, I'll let y'all know. It's with Flat Earth. I'm on the fence with Flat Earth. I, sometimes I feel like the Earth is flat. And then, because I did ask a pilot once on my way to America if the Earth was flat. And he just looked at me like I was crazy. You know? Yeah, they've left out the Gospels in the Bible. What else? Giants as well. And then if you look at Tartaria going on to but this is strictly for entertainment purposes only i am only raising awareness to interesting situations during these interesting times let's continue to get this shift y'all peace out no oh, do i pay my clan a bill or not okay breaking news japan has just been hit by a what powerful 7.1 magnitude earthquake and it is now also triggered a tsunami warning so authorities are why is all this stuff happening leave certain coastal areas close to the epicenter until the warning why do they want to hurt us what did we do we ain't done nothing. You got, you got to get, get, get the government. It's not us. We're just little pawns in the game. Harp and Cern, 100% weather manipulation. Listen, 100%. I believe it. Ten tornadoes in one fucking thing. Lifted. Videos from inside a mall showing people who freaking know the drill by now. Uh, they're crouching down, clothes are swinging back and forth, and other On the fourth floor, that ain't gonna fucking help, is it? Those cars stopped at a red light, uh, shaking pretty forcefully. Uh, but unlike, thankfully, the one that they had on the first day of 2024 that killed 240 people, this one doesn't seem to have done any major structural damage to buildings or nuclear plants uh but of course i'll keep you guys updated as this develops i don't like you because you've sold your soul now dylan i used to like i used to like dylan. the amount of my i used to like dylan but ever since he went to the g10 summit and got invited to the white house i'm off i'm on the fence now mm. i'm on the fence that young Philly would have lost just over the weekend alone is starting to Why get... Why are screen recorders in that opposed to me? Can you tag me as well, please, on this? Crazy. The FA cancelled a new show that was going to have Philly cooking alongside big Premier League players like Saka. Oh, so the thing about the Chinese painting the roofs blue, in China, they've um, basically, you know, like the laser weapons that they have, um, basically it doesn't burn through blue. And I've always said China is like an, the laboratory where they test things out. 
Kafka. His brand deals with ASOS have been deleted. His source with Heinz has been pulled. His clothing line with Perplex has been taken down. Foot Asylum announced they are suspending our contract with Young Philly with immediate effect. His dating show with Gymshark, Hit Off, has been unlisted. The first live show for the Chunks and Philly podcast has been cancelled. With the producers upload production saying they are pausing any work with Young Philly. There are even freaking articles being written about advice for brands after Young Philly's arrest. And that's without even mentioning the creator side of this. Because do you know how much content he's featured in in other people's channels? Philly is currently on a $200,000 conditional bail until his next court hearing on 19th of December. And some of those conditions are he's had to surrender his passport, frequently check in with police, not contact the alleged... I wore my tracksuit. Hey, size wore my tracksuit as well. I wore it fast! I was in a fucking track... You know my beige tracksuit with the diamond on And there's another one that I'm buying today as well. I'm going to treat myself because I haven't treated myself for a couple of days. So I'm going to treat myself. To the victim and not comment about the case on social media. Now, it's important to stress that currently he's not being found guilty. But if that changes, it's likely that he would not be extradited back to the UK. That's because legal proceedings for serious criminal offenses like assault generally result in the convicted person serving time in the country where the crime occurred. But of course, as we know more, I'll keep you guys updated. Yep, Jane Duffy. Pop culture moments, let's lighten up the mood a bit. Get your heart moving and your trendy wendies and your subs and your gossip. Check out the links in my bio. I don't want to be here anymore. Yes, what have we got today? Wife swap. I'm sorry, Mike. This isn't for me. I'm getting my stuff and I'm going home. You're not my kind of people. You can call me what you want, but I hate staying here. I'd rather fucking commit suicide than stay here for ten days. Well, I look sexy in these wellies, don't I? Just half an hour after meeting her new family and Carrie starting to get her hands dirty with her evening Your routine. Memory. <laughs> what? Her? Is this actually your friend? <laughs> oh. Pick up any poos into what the barra. What do you do with the poos? Into the barra. Right. She's obviously not been in the country very much at all. She's, she's turned up. She hasn't really. She hasn't got a pair of boots with her. Well, they do a lot of pooing, don't they? I've offered the overalls, but uh, she's uh, not carry. She's Thank you for the gift, she legends. Thank you, Adele. In her fashion and what she wears. Thank you, Zara. It's going to be difficult. I'm going on tomorrow, mate. I can out in the pissing down rain, freezing cold. I love Back a farm. farm. I love being on the farm. And Carrie's only just finished. I would love to have a farm. Mucking out the horses. I'm just knackered. I'm not at a bath or anything. Do you know what I mean? I just feel like grubby and you know what I mean? I'm just going to walk around for 10 days in a pair of fucking minging wellies in a minging court. You know what I mean? And that's me. <laughs> It's the second day of the swap, and Carrie's still getting to grips with life on the farm. Look how much shit is here! They're having a fucking laugh, aren't they? Oh, I'm cut flies on it. Oh. We've got some 90 day fiance coming up. Six o'clock in the morning, shoveling up the shit. Why would anybody want to do this at this time in the morning? It's not like a shopping trolley. Thank you, Manda. In her new life, Carrie's got to learn how to multitask. There's not just the farm to run, but the family to look after as well. I feel like shit. On a family farm, everyone has to pull their weight. The kids do too much. I mean, I've just, I've just been watching them shovel up shit, which I don't think's right for kids to be doing. I don't make my kids do that, cleaning up horse oh, shit. Maybe they enjoy that, I don't know, but it's just not, it's not something I'd make my little girl do. Do you know what I mean? By five o'clock, Carrie's still grappling with manure. Ah, oh, sorry. There's no smile on her face today, so I feel she struggled a bit. I don't want to live on a farm Tomorrow now. Look at that. Too much hard farm. work. We've got 300 sheep to bring in, and we've got a mark. And we'll it's gay, thank you, you legend. Now, that's not going in. It's too heavy. I put too much in. <sighs> you climbed out of a window to run away with. Tomorrow's going to be awesome for her. I've been up since six o'clock this morning, and here I am, sub shoveling up shit again. Fucking hell, I knew it was going to be a little bit different, but Jesus Christ, this takes the biscuit, you know what I mean? Love her. Right, fuck this. Now, 
I'm sorry, Mike, this isn't for me. I'm getting my stuff and I'm going home. You're not my kind of people. You can call me a weak person. You can call Benny me a Benny with the cat. sub, 10 months. Thank you, darling. I hate staying here. I'd rather fucking commit suicide than stay here for 10 days. Fucking hell. I've got up. I've cleaned the horses out, cleaned that much shit up. I've never cleaned him before in my life. Do you know what I mean? Fed the chickens. So basically, what I'm getting, the husband does fuck all on the farm because I haven't seen him shoveling shit once. I think she's getting annoyed because she's doing it all and not the husband. Do you know? Yeah, that's what I was thinking then. I was thinking, is she's doing all the graft, poor cow, since six o'clock and fucking old farmer fucking boots is just there. Fucking done the eggs, made the kids breakfast. You know what I mean? And it's like, love her, Marie. Start. Send her my love. Tell her there's absolutely so much shit here she can come and clean up. She's a good poo picker. Good poo picker. Yeah. <laughs> right, this guy, what's his name? Because we love a 90 day fiance retake. Yes, we do. What is it? Walid B27. I love his narrations. <laughs> this is hair stylish? Why guy? Why guy? <laughs> oh, back. 90 day fiance time. We're gonna be exploring Adnan Mina Jordan 22 and Tiger Lele 41. I'm not sure that's a government what? name, but let's go. Hey, is this guy from Jordan or is his name Jordan? I beg you look at this guy. Why Adnan? Why? Okay. You got a hairstylist to the house. Watch. Maybe hairstylist. <laughs> It's at the door. <laughs> Grand Theft Auto Middle East vest, bro. Man, hear it. Wait. This Wait. Is this is hair stylish? <laughs> this is hair stylish? Yeah. <laughs> this is hair stylish? Why guy? Why guy? <laughs> why guy? Why not woman? That's just who they said. Mm. I don't want any man to touch my wife. Yeah? This is not respectful in my religion. You have to respect this it. Is so problem. This, this is a so problem thing. This is a so problem thing. Tell him. Go on, tell him. Okay. okay. Do you know what? When I was in Turkey, the Cole will tell you this. There is this guy. He was he was stunning. And I bought some t-shirts off him, but they took us down this like five-minute walk down the alley, down this fucking underground shop and all of that. And then he went, What is it? He goes, I was just sitting there and me and Nicole were like, whoo, 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 la la. And he went, you know, if you don't like price, you can fuck me. And I was like, what? And I said to the guy, did you hear that? Did he just say that? Like, it was... <laughs> oh, I don't want other men to touch you, baby. It was just for me. I, yeah. I understand. Look at the boy I could for the Balenciaga. Ladies, you lot are taking the mitt. FYP team, hey. thank you, yeah, darling. Yeah, yeah, Habibi, it's time to go home. Yalla, go. Go on, tell her. Okay. He got married quickly, you know. Separate. The man and the woman dancing separately. The men are so jealous. They don't need to be touching to make a problem. Aye. Yeah, that's it, man. Separate the wedding. Don't be mixing it. I hear it. Women are so funny. She's three hours late to meet him and he's with his brother. But watch this scene, please. <laughs> Look at his brother. Look at his brother. I don't see that. <laughs> He's, he's, he's firing him up. <laughs> yeah. You will be waiting your whole life. <laughs> what? Be a man. <laughs> I told him to shut up. Bring up Sarah, you little darling. To anywhere, I will to wait yeah. with you uh, for a uh, five hours. <laughs> <laughs> we don't look ugly. You are always a queen. He was only cute. Look, he's still got a romance. It only takes five minutes. What, what's the hand? Can you see he done that? He done that. Yani. When you do this, it means, yani, listen, yani, understand. This means, oh my. Listen, look, listen to the brother again. Look, look, look. The brother again. <laughs> <laughs> not even again. <good. laughs> this is not your business. Her brother, come up. I was like, hey, listen, my wife's just like that. Is my wife? I really wanna kiss her lips. I really wanna kiss her lips. Even when we are married, I can do that in a public. In the public, you're right. You're. I want you now. Oh, Broski, slow down. You're gonna get some. To us, we will be together. 
Let's like one. one. Ooh. 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 Wait. Wait. Smooth, aren't they? Hey, hey. No one else. I'm so excited at this moment all my life. Oh, bro. Private part. You need to cure the visa. <laughs> Broski, you're going to get some months that I've been waiting my whole life. Thank you, boo. Thank you, love. Is this more the, oh, we didn't know if he got the secured the visa. I've never had more messages about a cousin. Now we're on to married at first sight. sight. Jesus. UK groom. Today, I got some information that I had been looking for and hadn't seen in person. And the information is a screenshot of a comment that was left on the Math C4 page the day that they announced that this person was entering the show. <laughs> on top of the worrying nature of the comment, which I'll read to you in one sec. What Morning, really Karina. Scared me was that I have heard from several other women who are either ex partners or best friends or sisters of his ex partners. And the similarities of the thing that this comment describes and the stories that I've heard are terrifying. I hope your new wife will have money so you can pay off your debts here in Australia. A few truths about this man. He owes me $1,600 for not paying rent and not paying me back for an iPhone. When I kicked him out for being a flog, he blocked me from all socials and my phone number. Left his kids in England for a woman out in Australia. Same woman had to put out a violent restraining order on him. Got caught stealing money from the till at his job. All caught on CCTV. Ripped off the rugby clubs he was paying for over there. Got another woman pregnant here and then went crazy when she didn't want to keep it. This guy is the biggest walking red flag. Tr treats women like shit and a total narcissist. You're nothing more than a scumbag and the haircut isn't hiding your receding hairline. So stop kidding yourself. I think Stephen will know who this woman is from her comment. But since the other women I've talked to haven't come forward publicly with their story, I don't want to identify them, even to him. But I will use right. their stories just to say this. The things that I read in that message almost mirror stories that I've heard from other women. In the light of this, what do you guys think? With his head. With his head. We've heard all of the tea about all of the brides and grooms. That's more than darling. I had, however, seen rumours flying around that Lacey, her mum and her sister, had been on numerous reality TV shows. And it does seem like her and her sister have been on Celebs Go Dating, Dress to Impress, and she's also been on something in the south of France. There were a lot of people talking about her mum being a very problematic character mm. on Come Dine With Me. And in my head, I had seen this episode. I remember the lady kicking off at the end. I have found it. Here it is. I, oh. <laughs> I don't believe this. I really don't. You put me forth. No, mom. seriously, I think you all have really put me, obviously, give me a low score. Peed me off, actually. Someone's got to come forth, haven't they? No, because my food was better than any of yours. I am so shocked that you gave me what you did. My presentation was amazing. Far oh, better than any of yours. What, and I came what a forth. Way, what a way to end a week. No, I'm sorry. I'm so upset with all you. I've been so honest about you. You know what? I don't deserve fourth. And I think we can agree that that's actually not Lacey's mum. She's just got a tight ponytail and dark hair. I did not. What? I do feel a little bit irritated with Orson. He said he wanted to stay. And then he gets on the sofa tonight. Oh, did she turn back up? Stuff that he'd never mentioned to me. Pick up Dawny. Thank you, Dawny. When he knew I didn't want to. And I yes, didn't smash want to those um, crepes. So definitely going to let him know how I feel. I thought she didn't turn up. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's shit on you, it's good luck. <laughs> I thought she didn't turn up. your first tweet, Oh, she's <laughs> Let me drop you guys and have a talk about it. I miss Alan Carr. Yes, get your heart me's in if you haven't joined the team. Join the team, get your heart me's and your trendy wendies in. Get your steps in, get your steps in. Oh. And just subs for the big birthday giveaway. <laughs> I love Alan. <laughs> big up Sam, big up Ray. <laughs> We love Alan Carr.
Right, next, we have a new movie to watch. Don't watch House of Spoils. It's a fucking load of shit. It's a load of shit. So we believe in ponies. We believe in ponies. We believe in ponies. Oh, no, not this one. Is it this one? Oh, yeah. A villain was born on this day. I thought this was savage. Watch. Stop Sam with the so song. We believe in ponies. We believe in ponies. We believe in ponies. We believe in ponies. Hey, if we give it to you. A big massive thank you. Oh. Would you? Yeah. Well, it might have to wait for another time because that's not yours. It's <laughs> not her. So I'll be there with it. Thank you very much. Take it away. Oh. <laughs> yes, that was oh. cruel. That was cruel. Right, new movie time. Now, ain't nothing better than a horror movie inspired by a true story. Wandering the streets of New York, confused and disoriented. When she was found, she had complete amnesia. They sent her here to us. Nellie's memories still exist. They're just cloaked. As her doctor, it is my duty to help lift that cloak. A matron Brady likes her piggies clean. Superior drama. The Observer, providing you with the latest TikTok drama from across the UK.